guys. It's getting bad. Now, Darman's massively inflated ego showing through in his videos is not exactly new. We're pretty used to that at this point, but we're beginning to reach new heights I wasn't sure were possible. Now, real quick before we get into this, I would like to apologize for any strange background noises you might hear, like little tink tink tinks. I think that my neighbors may have uh, discovered the ruins of an ancient civilization in their backyard because uh, for the entire morning, it has sounded like they have been excavating their entire property. So uh, yeah, not sure what's going on over there. Hopefully they don't uncover anything too crazy. Not really in the mood to get cursed today. So hope all goes well, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today we are going to be talking about Mischief Mikey, episode four, two teens break out of jail cell, where Darman continues to not only give the thumbs up to being a juvenile delinquent, but his ego has the worst appearance I think we have ever seen. This video might be the most laughable thing we have ever seen from Darman, especially when you take into consideration that apparently he writes these himself. It's about to get very hard to watch, people. Let's begin, and please subscribe. Are we really supposed to eat this? Look, it's either that or starve to death. <laughs> I'm thinking of choosing the second. But hey, the bread said, at least we got bread. <laughs> Can I help you? No. No, 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 not my bread. This is the only thing edible in this place. All right, let's calm it down a bit here, Mikey. You've got chili and rice. I mean, you're not doing a stint in ADX, you're in juvie. It's like eating school food. Pretty sure I saw chocolate pudding on your plate. I think you'll make it. Thanks a lot for having my back. I'm not trying to die. I mean, did you see the size of that guy? One hit and you're on the floor taking a nap. Go to sleep. What are you talking about? Jay. You have to find a way to get out of here. I honestly don't know how much longer I can survive in this place, bro. Man, I just can't believe we're missing the Darman meet and greet at Bookside on Saturday. What? Yeah, no, you heard that right, people. So out of all of the motivations that Darman could pick from, you could do like a crazy school party everyone's going to. Maybe the new Fortnite battle pass is coming out. No, Darman chose the motivation for these kids to want to break out of Juvie and all the other stuff they're going to do in this video to be they want to go to the Darman meet and greet. Really? How come I didn't know about that? Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, Jay, now we really have to get out of here. Bro. Even if it means breaking out. Good luck. I've seen lots of kids try. No one's ever been able to pull it off. I feel like we've reached a point in these videos where it's actually impossible for the writing to get any more stereotypical. It's actually kind of impressive. Now after this, something kind of weird happens in this video, something I've never really seen before in a Darman video, and it sets me up to talk about something towards the end of the video. But there's this like one minute montage where there's nothing but music, like there's no dialogue, it's just these guys trying to break out. It's also a very, very strange song, I'll play you a snippet of it. You sure you can hand out? But there's no dialogue, there's no nothing, which really makes this video feel lazy because it happens twice. As this video continues, it gets more and more strange and it really doesn't fit in with what you'd expect from a normal Darman video. I don't know what Darman was trying to do with this one, but it didn't really land. You have to believe us. We just... Mom? I brought you in here to let you know you're both getting out. We, we are? are? Sort of. The judge saw that you had no previous serious offenses, so he decided to exercise leniency and allow an early release. Okay, so I'm not really sure why uh, Darman decided to label this one and market it as these kids break out from jail when they just get released. But what it happened to be that judge's first day on the job, because uh, if I'm remembering correctly, this kid made a bomb threat to an airplane so he didn't have to go to school. I feel like even with a clean record, that's worth a little bit of time. What is it, like their first day in here? I mean, I mean, seriously, what was even the point of that last episode? It took a lot of convincing. Oh my God! No! Uh, okay, right, don't get too excited. You're still in house arrest for 30 days. What? Oh! I don't want to be stuck at home all day. We got things to do. <laughs> okay. So, would you rather we just leave you here? 
Well, since Jay's mom is out of town, at least you two will have each other. All right, look, so I understand that at this point, Darman is writing to a very young audience, because I'm pretty sure even a slightly older audience has gotten sick and tired of his antics. If you look at his comment sections, you'll see that. But really? First off, I'm pretty sure this kid's mom would have to be here to pick him up. I don't think you can be released to a random woman. And then even if your mom was out of town and you were somehow to be released, I don't think your best friend's house is where you'd be sent. I mean, seriously, does Darman even try? Like, these kids are in the legal system. There are rules. Kinda wishing my mom didn't take away my electronics. Oh, well, now I'm wondering why I fought so hard to get you out. Should've just left you in there if I knew you'd be complaining so much. <sighs> Anywho, I'm heading out, but I want you guys to be on your best behavior. Honestly, at this point, I'm blaming the mom. I mean, at the end of the day, this kid's only like, what, 12 or 13? Your child commits an act of terrorism so he doesn't have to take a test. You cooperate with the police, come up with this big scheme to get him to confess. And then the day after he goes to juvie, you go and fight for him to get out. You somehow make a deal where his best friend gets to stay with him. And then you leave them alone. You're a bad parent. Clearly, your silly catchphrases are not working. That's the only behavior we know. Mikey, I'm serious. When you're in a hole, the first thing you need to do is to stop digging, or it's only going to get worse. All right, I'm headed to the meet and greet. Wait, hmm? you're going to the meet and greet? Yeah, I'm taking Jaden. Oh my God, Mom, please take us. Please, I will be on my best behavior. Can you imagine not only the ego, but the amount of shamelessness you must have to write this into a script? All right, boys, scene seven. So you're gonna be on your knees begging your mother to allow you to come see me, okay? Ah, uh, that wasn't convincing. I need you to act like your life depends on it. We're only a few blocks away from it and we can't go. Ah. Wait a sec. Jay! Uh, what are you I wonder what the range is on this thing. If we go there real quick and come back? No, 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 no. There's only one way to find out. Wait, 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 but what about your mom? I mean, she'll for sure see us. Jay, come on. I am Mr. Mikey. I will figure it out. Uh all right, this is also going to tie into what we're talking about later, but how does he know he's Mischief Mikey? You might be thinking the series is named after a nickname he's given himself, but no. He suddenly somehow knows that he's named Mischief Mikey. We're going to get into a really weird kind of convoluted fourth wall breaking situation later, and it's going to show that Darman has kind of given up on making these make sense. Now, we just have to wait for the... Never mind. There was our cue. Let's roll. Well, let's go, my boy. <laughs> Maybe your plan worked after all. As it does in that. No, What's going on? No, I've never been in a house house before. Okay, I, we need to go back to the house now. No, Jay, we're so close. It does not matter. Fifteen, nine, oh Fifty-seven. No. Fifty-six. Deactivated. So sequences like this just kind of prove to me that Darman is really trying to appeal to a very young audience at this point, which honestly makes these sorts of videos even worse. Like, I really don't understand where Darman is going with this. I just don't. Like, I know I'm kind of beating a dead horse here, but Mikey literally did commit an act of terrorism, okay? Like, that's not a joke. He really did. Like, he would be marked as a terrorist for what he did, and it's just being treated as like, oh, don't worry, you've got a clean record. Come on, come home from juvie. Don't worry, just put you on a little bit of a house arrest. Oh, you want to leave the house. Oh, well, let's not talk about how that's a serious thing to do. No, it's just a joke. Like, I don't get it. If Darman really wants to be an influence, maybe he should take stuff like this more seriously or just not make videos where children become terrorists. So after this, we go into another horribly goofy sequence where they're trying to take off the ankle monitors. They're using obviously fake saws and hammers and they're running around the yard chasing each other. It just really doesn't work and it's not something I've ever really seen in a Darman video before. It's just like too childlike. Like, it's too goofy. It's too silly. I don't know what's changed at the Darman HQ, but something definitely has. And also, they use that horrible song again, so I don't know what's going on there either. Okay, no, 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 no. No, no. We're done. Come on, Jay. We are wasting time. <laughs> we only have five minutes left. No, stop being a big... Bro, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one who might get their leg burnt to a crisp. Jay, you and I both agreed that I had the more steady hand, right? Okay, just do it. 
What in the world? Mom! What are you doing home so early? All right, people, get ready. It's time for a real life quick time event. It's time to test your Darman knowledge. What do you think is about to happen? After this woman walked into her son and his friend trying to burn off their ankle monitors, do you think that A, she is going to be a responsible mother, contact the judge and say, hey, I don't think these kids are really learning their lesson. This might have some very serious implications about their future and they might turn into genuine criminals as they grow older. They might be going down a path that ruins their life and we really need to handle this now, or B, do nothing. Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Well, that depends. Well, what do you think you're seeing? A couple of crazy kids trying to blowtorch their ankle monitors off? What? No. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> and to think I had good news for you. What kind of good news? I had talked to your parole officer, and I got him to give you clearance to go to the meet and greet. Has this woman ever heard of discipline? Punishment? These children are fresh out of juvie. They didn't even finish their sentence. They're on a house arrest right now for being criminals. And on their first day, you want to take them to the Darman meet and greet? Which it seems like in this universe is the equivalent of getting to meet Superman. No wonder your children are so bad. I guess it's better than juvie. And being stuck in the house all day. Dude, I am just so mad that we don't get to see the meet and greet. Mm -hmm. The one with Darman? You didn't hear? It got postponed to today. Ethan? Oh. Yes. You know what, now that I think about it, it doesn't even matter anyway. We're stuck here for the rest of the day. Okay. Are you guys prepared to see the worst plot point in Darman history? You might think you are, but uh, you're not. Are we though? Dude. Even if he's not paying attention, he'll eventually notice we're gone. Especially when this trash doesn't get picked up. True. Unless we get someone else to do the work for us. What are you thinking? You still got the $20 your mom gave you before she left? Yep. Still got it. How would this kid have $20 from his mother if his mother was already out of town before he got out of juvie? I mean, does anybody, like, at all look at these scripts? Ever? Are they just thrown together by some AI and they just run with it? Even if he did have the $20, why would he be carrying it around in his uniform while he's doing community service? There are too many things in these videos that you just expect the audience to ignore, Darman. It's ridiculous. Let's go. Probably. Hey, how would you guys like to earn twenty dollars? All right, Darman, look, you can insult me. You can insult everything about me if you'd like, but you cannot insult my intelligence. You want me to believe that this cop is so invested into his phone that he doesn't notice that two of the children of like six children that are working here have been replaced by two fully grown men. He doesn't spare a single glance during all of this going down where they fully change clothes. Where do they change? Where were they able to make this transaction? Come on. Oh. Two. Huh? Come with me. What? We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, we're just trying to see Darman. Come exactly. on, man. Come on. No problem. I'm going to give you both the ultimate VIP experience. Sounds good to okay. me. <laughs> hey, why do they get to go ahead of us? Yeah, that's not fair. Mm -hmm. OK, look, we are clearly homeless, OK? This is compassion. Wait, you watch Darman videos, correct? OK, well, clearly, you're not paying attention. Audacity. This is so meta that it's almost like comically ironic. So the idea here is that the people in line are making fun of these guys for being homeless because they think they're homeless. He says, don't you watch Darman videos? Shouldn't you know better? Even though we're watching a Darman video and the butt of the joke here is homelessness. Like seriously, how do you manage to become this tone deaf? Yeah, man, we don't even think that bad. Y'all nope. dramatic. What? But this is, this is the door, isn't it? Nope. There's a special door for you two. I, but I'm pretty sure that's. Hey, whatever. Hey. Hey, hold on. Wait, where is it? Have fun. Hey, hey, open up, up. Man, bro. Open up, bro. Open up. Hey. Open up. Please. Open up. 
Will you two ever learn your lesson? No, why would they? They have no guidance. You're a bad mom and I'm assuming Jay's parents are bad too. They clearly do not understand right versus wrong. These are not normal teenage shenanigans. These kids are okay breaking numerous laws and engaging in criminal behavior all the time. These are not normal things for children to be doing. Somewhere in the parenting process, everyone involved here has failed. How'd you find us? They offered us more money. A betrayal, bro. You go, oh, wait, wait, you, 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 you. wait. We just want to see that. No. Wait, 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 wait. Like this. I can't go like this. Bro, I just want to meet Dharma and dog. Hey, Mom. You're here to get me out, right? Get you out? Probably. I would not be surprised. We all know by next episode you're gonna be out of juvie again. No sit down with the police, not even a brief explanation about how breaking your parole is a serious thing to do. No just screaming, I wanted to meet Darman and we're back in juvie, it's all a joke, ha ha ha, very funny. This is not a good look, Dardar. I really hope that this is the end of Mischief Mikey. Well, maybe for season one. Season two coming soon. I was just joking. I was just kidding. All right, so right about here is where we enter that, like, weird fourth wall thing, and it's only about to get significantly worse. Well, the meet and greet went really well. Not only did Jaden win a free laptop, he got invited to audition for an upcoming Darmian video. He's there right now with Noah. Seriously? Oh, it's Jaden now. Hey, Jaden, I was just talking about you. I'm here with Mikey. Mom, you won't believe this. Not only did I get casted, wow. but Noah did too. He wants me to have my own series. They'll come out in October. Call Noah's Ark! All right, so this is where it gets really funky. Darman has opened a door here that I don't think he really meant to open, but now he can't close it. And I'm about to look way too far into this than I should. So now we're just straight up advertising the new series that are going to be on Darman's channel in his existing videos. So we went from Darman acknowledging he was a celebrity, you know, doing the normal celebrity stuff like taking high school girls to prom. But now he's breaking it even further to where like the people in these videos, we're aware that they're actors in other Darman videos. So does that mean that everything we see in Noah's Ark, it's going to be presented like they know they're in a TV show? Like if we see Noah in a Mischief Mikey video or any other video that's not Noah's Ark, they're going to be like, so how's the filming for Noah's Ark going? Do you see what I mean? Because this kid just acknowledged that the Noah's Ark series is not real life. And obviously none of this is real life, but it's not like Mischief Mikey is this guy in the Darman universe who we have canonically recognized as part of the Darman channel. Mischief Mikey is a part of the Darman channel. We know that, but I don't know if they know that in the Darman universe. Do you see what I mean? Like, what just happened? We've opened up Pandora's box, people. Uh -huh. oh, one sec. Hey, Kathy. I'd love to talk to you if you have a few minutes. <gasps> of course. Just give me a minute. Starman. <laughs> Can this day get any worse? Yeah, it can, because you're about to get a roommate you don't like. But do you guys see what I'm talking about? Every time a person has mentioned Darman in this video, the actor has been like, Oh my god, we're gonna see Darman! Like, Darman is writing these scenes. He's making himself out to be like the Pope. To imply that a grown woman would be starstruck and leave her son just to talk to you on FaceTime? It's kind of sad. Well, guys, what are your thoughts? How are you interpreting these videos? Personally, I really feel like this is the beginning of the end. I feel like even the youngest of Darman man's audience is going to start seeing through this kind of stuff soon. The constant ego padding, the videos becoming more and more unbelievable. It also seems like the effort put into them is going down as well. This is a really bad look for Darman. Obviously, it used to be bad as well, but in comparison, his old videos look realistic. Like, what he's putting out now is so different than like two years ago. Like, seriously, go watch some of his older videos. I bet you've forgotten how much tamer they used to be. There was nothing like this. Darman, I don't know what your thought process is is here, but um, I can't say I'm buying into it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.